what we're doing it, or we're, me, I'm doing <laughs> in the middle of the year, a freak out, uh, uh, uh. okay, <laughs> so the questions. Question one, best book you read in 2019? Oh, this one was kind of hard, you can ask my camera person because I was looking for it. <laughs> But I picked out Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I loved reading this back, I think, in February. Oh, so good. Okay, question number two. Best sequel you read in 2019? This isn't technically a sequel. It's like the last book in the series. But I'm going to count it anyway. I still need to finish it, but that is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. It's like a tongue twister. <laughs> Number three, new release out that you haven't read yet. And for that one, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I've heard nothing but good things. I just need to get around to it. Most anticipated release of the year the most anticipated release of the year um for that one I'm gonna go with Dark Age and Dark Dawn cause Dark Age comes out the end of July and Dark Age comes out at the well not at the end but like in the middle of September I really want both of those Number four, mo- ah, not number four, I already did that one. Okay, number five, biggest disappointment. Um, for that one, I'm gonna go with the book Some Girls Are by Courtney Summer. I try, why well, I did read it all and I just finished it, but it was not my favorite book that I've read by her so far. I mean, I tried, and I just couldn't get into it. Okay. <laughs> Number six. Biggest surprise. Ooh, biggest surprise would be A Court of Thorn and Roses, also by Sarah J. Mass. I wasn't sure exactly how well I would like this book, and I ended up really liking it, and I can't wait to start the next book. Okay. Uh, Alright. Question number seven. Favorite author or new to you? New to me. I actually have two because I'm extra like that. I have Mark Lawrence, Red Sister, and then I have Sally Green, Half Bad. These are both really good. You should read them. Just take my word for it. <laughs> Number eight, newest fictional crush. For that one... Uh, we're pulling out the big guns here. We're going to talk again about Six of Crows because Kaz Brecker is uh, my favorite. He can do no wrong. And it's, ah. Uh, if only Inez would just date him. <laughs> Number nine, newest fictional character. Newest fictional character. I'm gonna go with Kieran from The Ruins of Kings. He is a hilarious in this book, and I love him to pieces. Okay, question number 10. A book that made you cry? Um, for that one, I don't really cry in books, usually. I do in movies, but not in books. It's really weird. I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't. I don't understand. Okay, question 11. A book that made you happy. A book that made me happy. Again, we're going to go with The Ruin of Keens because I love Kieran and he's just awesome. I don't know if I'm saying his name right or not, but he's a sass and I love him. Okay. 12. Your favorite book film you've seen this year? And for that one, I'm gonna give, gonna give, I'm gonna say The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. It's a really good and powerful story. If you haven't read it and haven't seen the movie, where have you been, my friends? Where? It's really good.
number 13, most beautiful book cover you got. And this one was a copy, but we're going to go with The Priority of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, just because we, or like the, that you could feel the scales of the dragon, and just look how gorgeous that is. Like, can you? Can you not? Say it's this one. Okay, question number 14, the very last one. What books do I need to read by the end of the year? Or do you need to read by the end of the year? Um, I'm going to go with Girls of Paper and Fire, just because I've had it for a while on my shelves, and I also painted it pink, because <laughs> why not? And then I also need to finish The Priority of the Orange Tree, The Ruins of the Kings, and I'm halfway through Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. And then the rest of the books that you see behind me and beside me. Just all of them. That's the answers I got. Alright, you guys. That was the middle of the year of Breakout Tag. And if you have read or not read any of these books let me know down below go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the like button you don't want to miss further videos from me and i will see you guys next time bye